So, first start in three months. Let's see if the car starts, but <laughs> let's be honest, it's a Nissan, so why wouldn't it? So, let's see. Nice. So the first drive in three months. Let's see if I still know how to freaking drive a car. And it looks like the first drive in three months will be to a gas pump because the car is quite empty. The car's running well, everything is working. No idea how fast I'm going, but 70 in an 80. Man, now I haven't driven for three months, and the first thing I have to do is kind of learn how to drive again because, yeah, seems like a stupid punishment. I mean, if I've made a mistake, if I've driven badly, why would it make sense to punish me? in a way to not allow me to drive for three months because that means that for three months I cannot practice and I cannot improve my driving. So basically I am just having to learn how to drive all over again. You could say that driving a car is like riding a bicycle, but in light of recent events and my abilities to drive a bike, um, yeah, I hope driving a car is not like riding a bike. The car is nice and warm now. I will not do launch control, especially since it's also uh, wet and everything, but I will do a bit of a more spirited acceleration as soon as that traffic light turns green. Let's see. <laughs> ah, the good old GTR. Today is the first day after three months that I'm allowed to drive again. And as you might notice, it's kind of night. I thought I'd make a little video of me driving again after three months because why not? But it has taken me a while to be able to do it because I received my driver's license via post already, I think two days ago. But of course I didn't drive beforehand because in Switzerland, if they catch you doing that, you could go to prison for two years. So not worth it. But today is the first day, the 1st of October, that I'm allowed to drive again. And I almost couldn't drive today because I had actually deposited my um, number plates for the cars um, at the DMV. Because that way you don't pay taxes and you don't pay insurance during that time. And hey, three months of saved insurance and saved taxes, I reckon it's going to be about, mm, about a thousand francs. So of course I did it. I actually also ordered them back to have them early, like I ordered them back to have them sent to me on Tuesday and indeed the DMV sent them off on Monday, but I didn't receive them on Tuesday and I didn't receive them on Wednesday and today is Thursday and I inquired where are my number plates and they kind of didn't know at the post office. so. Um, they had to search around a bit and then they found them and at the end they were very sorry and they delivered them like at half past six at night which is very unusual but I'm happy because it means I can drive today and I can make this little video which has basically absolutely no value for you the viewer but a little bit of value for me a little bit of satisfaction that I'm allowed to drive again also I've I'm still recovering from my accident that I had with my bicycle. I still have my broken ribs. I have had an operation on my collarbone. And so far I'm doing all right. You see, 
I can even drive a car. And this is something I wanted to test out because I didn't know if I was able to actually drive the car because this arm I have to kind of take care of it, not use it too much, but it works pretty well. And in this case, it also helps that the GTR is an automatic. So for all you sports cars need to have a uh, manual gearbox aficionados, I'd say, well, in this case, I'm kind of glad that this car is an automatic. But now I've arrived at the gas station and let's fill up some gas. Little update from the editing room, AKA my guest bedroom at home. Remember when I said this? Let's see if the car starts, but <laughs> let's be honest, it's a Nissan, so why wouldn't it? It's a Nissan, so why wouldn't it? Well, the car did start and run all right, but the next day I decided to take it to a larger supermarket a few towns over. I just wanted to get reacquainted with driving and see if the car was really 100%. After about four kilometers, all of a sudden I realized that I had no more power steering and that the battery light on the instrument cluster was on. At first I thought the car had stalled, but then I realized it was still responding to input from the gas pedal. So no power steering and a battery light. The AC went off as well. Can you guess it? At the first opportunity I turned the car around basically one armed and without power steering and drove the car to the little garage on the other side of the street from my house. There is a new owner there and I don't know how good he is as a mechanic. I mean, when I went there he was barefooted, but I think that's only because he had just finished uh, playing the piano he had just installed in his workshop. So yeah, there's that. Anyway, he confirmed right away what I already guessed. The serpentine belt, which drives the alternator, the power steering pump and the AC compressor had snapped. This should be a fairly simple job, but he has to find out why it snapped. The belt was in good condition and it was not that old. So maybe a roller jammed or with my luck, the AC compressor seized up or something else expensive like this. So basically, Right after I was allowed to drive it again, the car went to the workshop. And that's that for the moment. I hope to get it back soon. Oh, and by the way, a review cost of ownership video of the GTR is coming. Really, I actually filmed it already three months ago before having my license suspended, but I have not come around to compounding all the data and editing the video. But I will at some point and of course, this nice little visit to the workshop will be included as well when I finally manage to release the video. But that's it for this video. Thanks for hanging around until this point. Please consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't yet. This way you can stay up to date on the GTR and on future developments. And especially you can enjoy these incredible production values of grainy and out of focus footage in future videos. Anyway, Mario out. Ciao, have a nice day.